that is. Range 2,500 yards, standby missile one. Missile one, ready, sir. Steel one four oh. Aye, aye, skip. Steady on one four oh, sir. Right. Prepare to fire. Fire. Target hit astern. She's out of control. Steer 165. 165 it is, sir. Stand by missile 3. Range 2100 yards. Missile 3. Ready, sir. Fire! Radio this message to the Admiral. Missiles fired on 25 degree calculated error. Target ship destroyed. Returning to base. Reload missile tubes. Yes, sir. Closing water outlets. Blowing water from tubes one and three. Automatic reload, tube one. Automatic reload, tube three. Sir, the missile room. It's flooding. What? Start the pumps. Yes, sir. No response, sir. We're still getting depth. Blow all main ballast. Yes, sir. That was still too heavy, sir. Blow internal ballast. It's no good, sir. Sir, the pumps are useless. There's only one explanation. A missile outlet must be open to the sea. Well, there's nothing more we can do, sir. We're stuck. What's our position? Sir, this sounds impossible, but we're in Port Guavan territorial waters. Are you certain? Yes, sir. We've drifted about 10 miles off course. We've got to get clear. If they find us here, we're in trouble. Release the ALPs. Send a coded message to base. Yes, sir. Our brain impulse library is building quickly, Sam. That department of yours doesn't waste time. Hmm, that's the idea, Mac. You seem edgy, Sam. Is anything wrong? Well, it's not. Ah, I'll get it. Sam Louver. Hello? Uh, yes, Chief. 
The report's been confirmed, Sam. It's an emergency. I want Joe and the professor on immediate standby. Okay, Chief. That two-man atomic submarine is grounded inside Port Aguave in territorial waters. The Navy's sending in a helijet to try and pick up the crew. And if they make it without being spotted? They've got to make it. And that sub must be moved. You know the political situation in that country, Sam. It's dynamite. Have Joe ready. Right, sir. Mac, the brain impulse tape for Aquanaut Bill Fraser. Bill Fraser, Aquanaut. Mm. Ah, Q14. Mm, that's it. Set it up on the big ground. Have you got a mission for me, Uncle Sam? Looks like it, Joe. Should pick us up in three minutes with luck. Stand by. Yes, sir. Uh oh. We've got company. Look. Get down. You think they saw us, sir? I don't know. Let's hope not. There's a helijet. Am I glad to see him. Okay, Chief. Leave it to me. That was WIN headquarters, London. The crew's been picked up. The mission's on. Now, here's the situation. For years, Porta Guava has been in the grip of a military dictatorship headed by Juan Chavez. We've been working for free elections, and at last they've been forced to agree. I see. But if the uh, regime found that submarine, it would give Juan Chavez the perfect excuse to call the elections off. Right. That's why we've got to get it out of there without them knowing a thing about it. It'll take skill and courage. It's a job for Joe Knighty. Do we know the cause of the accident, Sam? Well, Mac, that submarine sank because the outer missile hatch failed to close. That's the way you'll get in, Joe. It's just big enough. Then you pump out the water, get the U-85 off the seabed, and move her outside the three-mile limit. It sounds straightforward, Sam. Yes, but remember, Porta Guava is a police state. They shoot first and ask questions later. All right, Joe. Get into the rat trap. I'll book a seat for you two on the midnight flight to Porta Guava. I'm ready, Dad. All right, Joe. Just relax. Relax completely. Professor McLean and your son, Joe. That's correct. How long will you be staying with us, senor? Oh, about a week, I should think. All this way for a week's holiday. It is a little unusual, is it not? 
Even one week here is worth the effort, Captain. <laughs> I hope you find it so. Good fishing, senor. Thank you. We hope so, too. Adios. Adios, amigo. Smart gringo. Give me the chief of police. <laughs> Anyone around? Buenos dias, amigos. Miguel Alberto dos Passos Francesca at your service. Can I be of help to you? Uh, we'd like to rent a boat. We want to do a little fishing. This is the fastest, most beautiful boat in the hall of Puerto Guava. For five American dollars, I myself will take you anywhere you wish to go. Uh, that's very kind, but we'd prefer to fish alone. Ah, amigo, unhappily the law does not permit. These are dangerous water. All visitors must be accompanied. But every law has its exceptions. American dollars. A lot to pay for fishing. Unless... Miguel Amigo, I think we will go and take a look at these fishermen. All right, Joe, here are your goggles. The radio link to the big rat has been built in. Okay, Dad. I'll go down and look around. Senor. What does it look like, Joe? Well, it's at about 145 feet, and the missile tube is just big enough for me to get in. We're all set for tonight. Good. You'd better change, Joe. I think we'll go back to the hotel and get some rest. <laughs> I am sorry, senor, to disturb your siesta. That's all right. Can I help you? Senor, you say you need my boat again tonight? Uh, this makes me very unhappy. I see. How much? It will cost you a little more. But I came to warn you. From the rocks by the sea, a man with a telescope can see a very long way. Such a man as a lieutenant in the police? What are you trying to say? Uh, I myself happen to be on the rocks today. There could be trouble. When? 20 minutes past 9 o'clock. And you say they anchored for half an hour? Si, Capitan. I think we will accompany the patrol boat tonight. Time. Start her up, Miguel. Si, senor. This is truly an incredible... 
incredible adventure. But tell me, senor, what are you really after? Gold? Sunken treasure? I told you, a big fish. And your boy is going to dive overboard and get it? That's right. Isn't it, Joe? Yes, Dad. You are mad. Your son is mad. I am mad. <laughs> Where did you see the professor, Lieutenant? About five miles east of our present position. Good. Full speed. Now listen, Joe. That air bottle will last 20 minutes. Set your wrist alarm. Right. It's set. Good. We have spare bottles aboard. Surface if you need a further supply. I understand. Well, good luck, Joe. Good fishing, amigo. Did your boy have special training to dive so well, senor? Hmm? No, as a matter of fact, this is only the second time he's worn an aqua suit. Santo Domingo Tostier. Down over ten minutes. See, si, senor, everything is. Listen. What is it? Another boat. Look. At a moment like this, senor, I too wish I was at the bottom of the sea. Senor McLean, you are under arrest. El Capitano! Be quiet, you vermin. You are under arrest also. What's the charge? Where is your son, Professor? Joe? Uh, he's uh, in an aqua suit, diving about 145 feet below us. In the middle of the night? Not good enough, Professor. The charge is murder of your own son. And take this miserable boat in tow. Wait. No, Professor. I want you behind bars. No, wait. My son has less than three minutes. Take them away. Forget it, amigo. They say the firing squad is very good, but then they get a lot of practice. And what court would believe a story such as ours? They were right to condemn us. I did murder Joe. I should never have let Sam Louver... Senor! They are coming for us. Santa Maria, Madre Dios, Santa, 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 Madre Dios, Madre Dios, Santa Maria, Madre Dios, Oh, 
by the authority invested in me by President Juan Chavez and the people of Puerto Guava and acting on the decision of the Supreme Court, it is my duty to tell you you are free to go. Hello, Dad. Joe. Joe! Well, that's about all, Dad. After I managed to free myself from that giant clam, I only had three minutes air left. But once I was inside the sub, I closed the inlet, pumped out all the water, and the rest was easy. Were you worried, Dad? Worried? No. Well, maybe a little. Dad. Come in. Professor? Joel? Hello, Miguel. How are you? Life is a struggle. But I have a plan to make us rich. I have a cousin in Miami who would help us. What's your plan, Miguel? We could make Joe a star. The boy Aquinar. Oh, no. No, I'm afraid... Uh... The Americanos would pay a sombrero full of dollars, senor. I'm sorry, Miguel. We're going home. Aren't we, Joe? You bet, Dad. You are mad. Your son is mad. I am mad. Thank you.